teacher Karen is back again and today we are again going to talk about science so if you are ready come and join me and let's have fun learning you have learned from our previous lessons that sound is an energy that we can hear from everywhere around us that it is produced by vibrations or the rapid back and forth movement of an object it can come from a wind chime a splashing wave dropping points or from a musical instrument like a drum there are different musical instruments that produces musical sounds in different ways like the percussion instruments the percussion instruments like the xylophone are musical instruments that produce sound when strike. The string instruments, like the guitar, produce sound when the strings are plucked. Wind instruments, like the mouth flute, produces musical sound when you blow into the mouthpiece. There are also other string instruments, like the violin, that produce sound not by plucking them, but when you fiddle them. So what are the ways of producing different musical sounds? Strike, pluck, blow, fiddle. Now let's try to see what are the musical instruments of ASEAN. ASEAN member countries have their national musical instruments. These musical instruments are part of their national and cultural identity. These musical instruments are often related to religious ceremonies, festivities, and family affairs. The national musical instrument of the Philippines is the Kulintang. It is a percussion instrument made of metal gongs. It is played by striking the bosses of the gongs with two wooden beaters. For Malaysia, their national musical instrument is the serenai. It is a wind instrument made out of wood and consists of seven holes on the upper part and one hole at the bottom. It produces musical sound when you blow the pipe. The Thai alto xylophone is a musical instrument in the percussion family. It consists of 21 wooden bars suspended by cords over a boat shaped through resonator and struck by two mallets. Myanmar's national musical instrument is the songo. It is a string instrument played by plucking the strings with the thumb and first finger of the right hand, while the left thumb presses against the strings to raise the pitch. This is also known as the Burmese harp. Now let's try to see how the following musical instruments produces sound. Let's start with the kulintang. The kulintang produces sound when strike. How about the songo? When does it produce musical sound? It produces musical sound when plucked. How about the Thai alto xylophone? When does it produce sound? It produces sound when it is also strike, just like the kulintang. How about serenai? When does it produce sound? The serenai produces sound when you blow it. Now let's try to find out to what country do these musical instruments belong? Kulintang belongs to Philippines. How about Songo? It belongs to Myanmar. The Thai alto xylophone, of course, belongs to Thailand. And the Serenai belongs to Malaysia. Great job, kids! 
Now, don't forget to do the activity on page 33 of your science book. Have a nice day. That ends our lesson for today, kids. I hope you enjoyed learning. Until our next video clip. Bye-bye.